I'm leaving And I'm not looking back I'll cover up my tracks Cause then I know I won't be grieving Mr. Takei, do you think that conflicts can be solved without violence? Well, naturally, as a woman and as a mother, I feel if you give love, that you receive love in return. I feel that uh, no woman who born a child wants to give it a way to violence of any kind. But it seems to me that man, man wants to show his power in some way. And uh, he's constantly responsible. He's constantly causing, it seems. Your, the your theory of love, does it also apply to racial problems? Yes, of course. Because I think that when people learn to live together as a race or different religions learn to live together and appreciate each other's beliefs rather than constantly trying to change them, that uh, we will be more compatible towards each other as a race, as a religion and as a creed, no matter. Uh, would you, and this is a little bit out of this line we are talking about now, would you go to entertain the American troops in Vietnam if you were asked to? I have been asked to before I went to Washington for that luncheon. And I was going to go to entertain the soldiers in Vietnam. Not because I agree with the war, but our boys are not responsible for being there. Therefore, I don't see any reason why they should be neglected in any way. It does not mean that I am supporting the war, but I just want the boys to feel that even though they are maybe not with desire to be there, that even so they are not forgotten. Do you think that artists in general should get involved in political problems? <laughs> That depends on the entertainer, because uh, I think that if an entertainer uh, is cognizant of uh, people's thinking and has uh, intelligence, as if you are not an entertainer, for instance, would be the same, I would believe the same. But you ask me about entertainer, I believe that we as entertainers are very sensitive towards people because we deal with them practically every day of our lives. We are in front of their eyes. We can see and we can feel the vibrations of people of every race, creed, color, social positions and uh, those of us who are international artists. We travel from one country to the other, like gypsies. And we are very sensitive to these, to, to people in general all over the world. So if anybody, I think, is going to have an opinion about the desires of people, who is better than an entertainer? In your biography, The Thursday Child, which was published in New York in 1956, I think, you mentioned that the color of your skin prevents you from being happy. Do you see things the same way today, Skit? I don't remember saying that in Thursday's Child. Not because of the color of my skin in relationship to another race, particularly. As I remember as a child, and obviously what I must have put in the book, was I am a person with different bloods. I am mixed. I am with Indian I am with Indian blood and I am with black blood 
and I am with what we say in America, Caucasian blood. So I already have three different varieties of nationalities within me. So as a result, if uh, you are, uh, say for instance, more of one blood than you are the other, it doesn't matter if your skin is brown, you belong to the black people or you belong to the brown people, whichever you want to call it. But I have been thrown from one position to the other because as a child, I was neither accepted by the black or by the white. So I had to find my own direction. So even today, I feel I cannot afford to be prejudiced against anyone. And I don't want to be. <laughs>